Hi there, this is Ben Dunn. Um, I'm going to start doing these, uh, I guess, positivity in comics type things. So, uh, where I talk about uh, what's going on with Anarchic Press, what's going on with me, and uh, talk about comics, movies, pop culture, you know, things that interest me and uh, might uh, also interest you, I hope. Uh, so, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how I got Anarchic Press started. Um, it's quite an interesting story. I mean, not really, well, not really all that interesting. It's just, uh, back in, uh, 84, I was attending St. Mary's University and I, uh, met a fellow named Mark Ripley and we both got along pretty well. We, uh, always talked about movies and comics and things like that. Uh, at the time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had just come out and made a, quite a splash on the independent comic market and the uh, direct market was uh, exploding in, uh, in influence and popularity in, with the growth of uh, comic book stores. So we decided to take the plunge and start our own comic book business and uh, originally we were going to call it Penguin Press but that name had already been taken so we decided to, uh, we thought about it, we thought well, well where do penguins live? They live in the Antarctic so we just called it Antarctic Press. Um, at the time, I was a big fan of manga. I just come back from a trip from uh, uh, Taiwan where I discovered manga, or at least the bootleg manga that uh, at the time, I guess uh, Taiwan didn't really respect copyright <laughs> laws, so to speak. Uh, and manga was very cheap. Uh, uh, a volume usually cost between 10 and 25 cents. So I loaded up uh, on as much manga as I possibly could since I was a kid. Alone, well, not alone, I was with my family. I was a kid uh, in Taiwan, with pretty bored out of my skull, and I discovered this new kind of art form. So I brought a whole bunch of manga back when I came back to the States and decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start pr producing manga. And uh, so our very first publication was Mangazine, and uh, we did that in 1985 uh, in December. Now, I, I, well, when we first started uh, Antarctic Press, we went ahead and got a, uh, applied for a tax form um, from our state. I borrowed about uh, $5,000 from various sources uh, and we started uh, doing our comics. Now, at the time in San Antonio, there weren't any dedicated uh, comic book printers and I didn't know any printers at all who could do comics. So what I did was I went through various places that could do the elements of the comics, like I could go to, I went to one printer who said, oh, they could do the interiors, I went to one place, they said, oh, I could do the covers, and I went to another place where I could say, oh, we can do the trimming and this, you know, saddle stitching and stuff like that. So basically, I had to went to through three different contractors and had to have the various elements printed of the comics and had to load it up in my car, take it to the next step, load that stuff in the car, and then take it to the last step, and finally got it all done, so... Uh, it was quite a hectic time at the, end, at the time. But I just wanted to share with you the little story behind Nine Press and how we got started. Uh, you know, things were a lot different back in 1985. So uh, we, we definitely didn't think, uh, you know, that it would be so difficult at the time. But, you know, it just shows it goes to show you that if you uh, are persistent about wanting to do something, you can get it done. So uh, I just wanted to share that little tidbit to you. And uh, next time. Uh, uh, this is Ben Dunn signing off.